Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we will keep going on Stardust tutorial series and have another replica node tutorial to see how easy it is to create these nice motion graphics 3D particle strings background in After Effects using Stardust. So let's get started. So after create your composition, apply Stardust to this layer I already created and as always we have emitters emitting from the center and so on emitter we're going to change the type to grid and on the grid properties we want to change the Y and C to 1 and on grid X we're going to give it 100 and on size we want to crank up Maybe give it 3000 and on speed we give it zero so we have nice line here you see it's nice line and on particle we're going to change the particle life to 20 seconds and particle properties size going to give it two pixels so we have these nice dots there so for now everything is set up for a mirror and particle and now we're going to add the replica node and so on replica let's replicate to 64 and on the C offset we're going to offset by 20 and on angle let's put that at 4 and you see what's happening here and on the angle C let's put that minus 1.5 so we have something like this and so for now we are not getting the strings the lines that we need to get it's still duplicate our uh, grid line grid dots here and so for replica nodes tip today is the density the more you crank up the density the more you're going to have lines and that means density is uh, like giving more particle uh, between each particles so we make that maybe 1000 and we have these nice lines so for now we are going to add a transform node so we can transform this uh, shape so first let's connect our particle our replica node to the particle and on transform let's put that uh, on a nice angle so on the y we're going to put that maybe 497 and on c minus 960 and on rotation let's rotate that to something look nice on screen and on Y maybe something like this and let's change the C on the original of the replicate to have something like this let's look nice for now I think okay so we are having this nice uh, as we have in the tutorial in the example we showed in this tutorial and so uh, to change the color we need to go to replica and on a long path change that to something maybe blue and white and on color mix path we need to put that in zero so we have our gradient here we have these nice lines we need to add more density let's put that 3000 we have nice lines and it's on opacity maybe change the end of it so it's uh, faded and so far now we have these nice strings it doesn't animate or anything so we are going to add a turbulence node so let's connect turbulence node to the replicate and on turbulence let's change to give some nice animation to the strings we're going to change the position and scale and also colors we want 
variations on all of those and we want turbulence type to axis and let's do that on y axis and on noise scale let's scale the noise to maybe 1000 to give this nice um this nice turbulence and let's see on noise amplitude maybe put that five and fractal speed maybe 52 something around that so maybe we need to go to the particles and put the particle size to one and that's look nice let's uh, preview this and see how it looks like so as you see in this preview, it look nice and smooth. So you always can just change your turbulence settings to get what you really want to by changing the noise scale and noise amplitude and frequency and so on. You can add a camera to your comp and animate it if you want to get all those nice tips to feel looking. So this was the third tutorial of Stardust tutorial series. Hope you enjoy and stay tuned for more stardust videos coming soon so don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching